Welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be talking about the Elegoo Mars Resin 3D Printer. Now, if you frequent any of the places in the 3D printing community, I know you've heard of this printer. It's been everywhere lately, and it seems like for good reason. It's one of the cheapest entries into the SLA market, which is ever growing and can get you some really, really fine detailed models. And I'm pretty sure this thing has been reviewed on YouTube hundreds of times over at this point. So instead of doing a full on review, we're going to be doing our out of the box experience with this, um, walking you through our first print. And then at the end, we'll just kind of talk about um, our experiences with it so far. And um, if you stick around, you'll get to see a few new uh, projects that we're working on that have not been released yet. And Elegoo was nice enough to share a coupon with us if you guys wanted to uh, pick up one of these printers for yourself. We'll talk more about that later in the video, but if you just want the coupon code, it's in the description and probably pinned to the top comment. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the Elegoo Mars, and this is an Eevee. She's um, being super needy, so she's going to be joining me for this video. So this is the Elegoo Mars. Um, it looks pretty sleek. It doesn't take up much space on your desk, which is nice because you can have like a, uh, a wash station kind of in front of it and um, still have room on your desk for that. It's got this really nice orange protective cover that also helps filter out the UV light coming from the LCD screen um, so it doesn't damage your eyes when you're looking at it. So make sure this cover is on while it's running. But as for our first experience with it, um, it arrived in a box, shocker, and it was a really sturdy, thick box. Um, it was put in there very well, so there was no damage. Um, it looked like it could withstand quite a bit, and I know that UPS and FedEx can throw quite a bit at it, so... Um, that was nice to see and we were pretty much able to just pop it out of the box and you, there's a couple pieces that you have to put on here like the obviously the cover goes on and the the tank goes on there and then the um, the bed that raises up and down you got to screw that on and actually the only tools that you'll need during this is a hex wrench because when you level the bed there's two little screw thingies on the side that you have to to turn and tighten to get the bed level but um, once we had it out of the box and put together um, it was ready to be plugged in, which is pretty cool, and um, it, it's always nice when a 3D printer has that kind of experience. Which the instruction booklet will walk you through that process, and then from there you're pretty much ready to get started printing. Just pour the resin in that you want to be using, and um, we kicked off the test print that's on there, which is a little test piece. We'll stick a picture up here. Um, and it, it pretty much just worked, which is really nice to see. Also, something that is very noteworthy that I should point out here is that when you buy this, it does not come with any resin. So um, if you're going to buy one of these, buy some resin with it. Um, we ended up getting some of the Soraya Tech. Also, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but we'll put links in the description if, um, so you can check that out. They just released some of their LCD resin, and it works perfectly with this, so I highly recommend that. But I thought it was very important to point out that this does not come with any resin um, on its own, which I think they, I think Elegoo has resin for this, so I don't know why they don't include a sample, but I um, just thought I'd point that out. So now the only thing left to do was to slice up our own models. So they do have included software, and I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. It's Cheetu Box? Cheetu Box? I don't know. Let me know. Cut the comments down there. But, uh, and seriously, she can sit here all day doing this. <laughs> this is like her favorite thing, and it makes it impossible to get any work done. And if you've worked with resin before, or if you've watched my previous videos on resin and things like that, you know that the software is the most important part of printing with resin. It can kind of make or break the experience, and um, most of your difficulties will come from the software side, in my experience. And this program is fully featured. Um, it's actually pretty nice. It, you can hollow out objects, you can add drain holes, um, you can add supports, and that's that I mean that's massive that's that's a huge bonus in this thing's favor for some of our later prints we did swap over and start using um, Prusa slicer his SLA um, stuff for, to add supports but we still sliced everything in Cheetu box or whatever and um, it, it worked really really good and th there was nothing really wrong with the Cheetu boxes supports uh, we just preferred the way that Prusa slicer kind of arranges them and stuff like that we didn't have any failed prints with their supports it, it was purely just a preference thing so with all that mentioned that's pretty much all we have to talk about with the actual printing and we can move on to the models and that's honestly an astounding 
feet for this thing. For it being as low cost as it is, um, that is is just phenomenal. So let's move on and just start talking about some of the prints we got with this stuff. All right, this is a mosquito that Chelsea, who is our cameraman today. Hi, Chelsea. Hello. Um, she modeled this in ZBrush and she did a phenomenal job. Um, and it is a wonderful showcase of not only the detail, like in these wings back here, but these antenna and just the legs, how tiny they are. Like this would have never printed on an FDM printer. Um, and now that I said that, someone's gonna prove me wrong out there. But I wanna um, see it. yeah, tweet us pictures. But um, this thing is just phenomenal. And literally all Chelsea did with this one was take off the supports. So there's been no other post-processing done to this. I mean, it's been cured, but you do that with all. Um, resin prints before you can touch them so um i was i was astonished by the just how tiny those were and that they came off or they, they actually came out the way that they're supposed to next up we have this bowsette mini and the bowsette video will be coming soon um but this is just another crazy showcase of how detailed this can get that is just a standard sd card so you can see how tiny it is it is 45 millimeters tall which is very very tiny um, and the detail that came out in this is nuts. Like one, and I'll put some pictures so we can see a little bit better, but she has tiny little heels and she was not designed to be printed this tiny. And those tiny little heels came out. Now I'm, they're, they're super fragile, so they would break off if I actually tried to do anything with them. But the fact that they printed like that is absolutely amazing. And all of these tiny little fingers, the, the crown on her head and the horns, and the um, spike shell on her back, um, all of that detail is perfect and for something this tiny is just insane so this is just a good showcase of why I love resin printers because this is you just can't do this with FDM then we've got a couple other prints this is our um, CCT maker coin um, this is Chelsea's unicorn Chelsea's super meat boy and we've got Oddish as well you can see how tiny those are next to the SD card. So they're all super tiny. And like I said, with all these, all Chelsea did was remove the supports. We've also got this little atomic scientist guy, which there's a ton of tiny little details in the spools and you can make those out. The hair is absolutely nuts. Um, once again, this model was not designed to be printed this tiny, but it, the Elegu does a phenomenal job with it. Now, these ones are the real showcase, if you ask me. They're a little bit bigger, you can see next to the SD card. Um, they're significant sized. Um, I, th I think this was actually as big as it would, um, it, it could print in the Elegu. And we've got the other pieces and stuff, we just printed those on a different printer. So, uh, and the Bowsette video will be coming later, so it's not out yet. But this piece was printed on the Elegu and it just it came out amazing like look at the the spikes on there and just all the little details like in the the choker there it just it looks amazing but this one i think is the best showcase so this was another chelsea model um, she's been very productive the past few months and this is a five finger death punch inspired skull we've got the brass knuckles in the mouth and the very gnarly teeth this is just a really really cool looking skull and um, Chelsea modeled this in ZBrush, and um, we'll probably have a full video on this coming up, but we will have the model for this released when this video goes live, so you can check the description to find this model if you would like to print one for yourself. Um, how it printed on this printer was uh, like this. So there were supports all over the back area here, and Chelsea did actually do a little bit of cleanup on the back there. Not a lot, just um, a little bit of filing and sanding to get rid of the, the little nubs left by supports. So very minimal work, and this thing just looks amazing. Like if I just saw this sitting here, I would not guess that it was 3D printed. It is just crazy the level of detail that goes into that. And not only the detail on the teeth, but just how smooth the top part is here. It actually looks like a real skull. And I, I just find that nuts. So that was pretty much um, our experience. That's everything we've done with the printer so far. Um, but so I'll give a quick little first impressions. It's not a full review. Um, just because we haven't used it enough to, to fully develop that. But at this stage, I can absolutely recommend this thing. Uh, it's worked incredibly for us so far. We've only had one failure in our whole time of using it, and it was something that we did. Um, we left some walls too thin when we were hauling out an object, 
but um, it was not the printer's fault, and it still actually turned out pretty good. There was just a little hole that we didn't want there. Mm -hmm. um, so this thing is absolutely incredible, and if you've been thinking about getting into SLA or resin printing, because this is technically LCD and not SLA, I think this is the perfect place to jump on board because um, low cost of entry, it's a very easy to use printer and it will definitely give you the right impression of resin printing. Well, there you have it. That was our first impressions and first uses of the Elegoo Mars. Um, I did want to add one more thing, but I didn't want to include it as part of the main video. Um, they did send us these disposable resin tanks. Um, disposable is probably not quite the right word. But um, the, on the box it says plastic, plastic resin tanks. Um, they come four in a pack, and right now it looks like they're going to be priced at about thirty dollars USD. Um, so if you've used resin at all, you know that is insanely cheap. Um, and I did want to mention that we haven't used these yet, so um, take everything with a grain of salt. So I, I can't vouch for the quality, but we will be using them very soon. So check back in future videos. We, we will comment on our experience with these. But um, for the time being, they look very, very promising. And being able to um, just take your current resin in here, swap it out, put this lid on it, and then put more or a different resin tank in there is amazing because... If you've worked with resin, you know that it's horrible to try and like clean out the current um, vat that you have. I will also put links in the description so you can check them out for yourself. Well, let me know down in the comments if you guys have one of these or if you have any questions about it. Um, we're going to be using this thing quite a bit more in the future, so I'm looking to experiment with some stuff. And then don't forget, Elegoo shared a coupon with us. I'll put the details up on the screen here, um, and you can check the description and probably the top comment down there. So you guys can pick up one of these for a discounted price. Um, check down there. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep creating.